Thank you so much. Dr. Bobby Myers Jr. is with us this morning. And interesting tie-in here, and I need to find out what it's all about. What is the tie-in, Dr. Myers, between asthma and you becoming a chiropractor? Well, I started out uh, playing sports here in the Memphis area. Um, played football, basketball, and as time just went on, uh, my asthma just progressively just got worse. Uh, started with al albuterol, the ventilin inhalers, uh, led into actually getting shots in my arm, and then actually at my senior year, uh, began having to carry a, an oxygen tank on the football field Whoa. with me. So I ended up going to a chiropractor, and he actually gave me an adjustment around my T3, T4 area. And around that area, he actually just took the pressure That's off the of the That's the thoracic dirt. vertebrae. Correct, mm -hmm. yes, sir. Actually right around in this area, T3, mm -hmm. T4. Uh, and was doing that, took the pressure off the nerve, and since then, I haven't had an asthma attack since. Wow. <laughs> well, some of these people are having trouble with asthma. Another problem, let's find out. But here's, uh, look, I would assume that's Helen in uh, North Memphis. Fell off the back of a truck when she was very young. She's had back problems ever since. What can she do to ease chronic back pain? Well, <clears throat> the first thing I would like to do is I would like to take an x-ray just to see exactly what area has been affected. Um, usually what you find is um, if it's in certain areas, you will see it take a little bit longer to actually heal. Uh, we have a couple of different devices uh, in the office and physical therapy, such as the electrical muscle stimulator, mm -hmm. as well as the ultrasound machine. But one of the biggest things you want to do is try to reduce the inflammation as soon as possible. Okay, but uh, first find out whether or not there's something other wise that needs correct. to be corrected surgically or so, but correct. most of the time you can take care of something that's lasted a long time with adjustments and all. Correct. That's very correct. All right, here's Ellen in East Memphis. If you were in a car accident, thought you hurt your back, would it take a while for the back to start hurting or would it be immediate? There's a good question. Very good question. Um, I have a lot of people who actually come to me with car accidents and a lot of athletes. What you usually find is with an athlete, uh, as well as someone who's been involved in a car accident, usually um, their adrenaline is just running so fast that yeah. they tend to think that they're not hurt or they don't need to be checked out and that's one of the biggest mistakes is you definitely want to go and get checked out and get a thorough physical uh, and then from that uh, point um, again you want to reduce the inflammation as soon as possible and see exactly how you want to address this condition. Okay. And those muscles tighten up when, when you see something coming don't they? by the time they're all relaxed that's when they start <laughs> hurting. Sandy in Whitehaven, can a chiropractor help you if you have back pain following um, invasive surgery? Yes. Um, with back surgery, you usually find that that area is very weak in the body. So you want to make sure that you strengthen and make sure you keep the mobility and the function for the areas above and below that area. So one of the things that we basically do is we try to actually uh, do some physical therapy, uh, making sure that if the problem is in the lower back, we want to make sure that we strengthen the stomach muscles to keep them nice and, and to support them. All right. Here's Denetrius in North Memphis, has noticed a swelling in the back of his spine, experiences back pain all the way down to his knees from the spine. What do you think? Should he see a chiropractor or a doctor? What's, what's your recommendation? Um, yes, he should. Um, what you usually find with this kind of pain, starting in the lower back and that actually radiates down the back of the legs, is a nerve called the sciatic nerve. Uh, the sciatic nerve is actually located between L5 and S1 and radiates all the way down. You usually find this with a lot of males that actually sit on a wallet. Uh, and by sitting on a wallet, you'll see that the hips and the pelvis are slightly mm -hmm. unlevel, which causes that shooting pain to go down. Um, usually in women, you usually find that with multiple births. Uh, the ligament being more lax, okay. uh, ligament needs to be strengthened. All right, two things. First of all, the L, of course, refers to the lumbar section, but also I don't have to worry about sitting on my wallet. It's not nearly that big. <laughs> One last question. A uh, lady has back pain. Does she need a breast reduction? Obviously, an examination would be necessary, but that can be a problem. Well, the first thing that I would uh, like to see is I definitely would like to see an X-ray just to see what her curvature is like in her thoracic mm -hmm. spine. Usually you see when someone is carrying more weight in the front, whether it's the, uh, whether it's the breast or whether it's actually wearing high heel shoes uh, or even actually carrying a baby in the front. So you would really need to see her, of course, before you yes. make a determination. Doctor, Definitely. thanks for coming in. Thank you so much. Appreciate it getting up this early for us. We appreciate it. Back with more Good Morning Memphis in a moment. A lot to come. Don't go away.